Let us verify Rolle's theorem for the function fx equal to x square minus x plus 2 on the interval minus 1 comma 2. So we want to verify Rolle's theorem for the function fx equal to x square minus x plus 2 on the interval minus 1 comma 2. Now if we want to verify Rolle's theorem, we need to make sure that three criteria are satisfied. First being f is continuous. Observe that f is a polynomial. f is a polynomial and polynomial are continuous throughout r. f is a polynomial. So continuous, continuous on R, not just uh, we we don't need whole of R. We just say that on the closed interval one comma two, all the polynomial function are continuous. Again, f is a polynomial, so differentiable. On we don't need even closed interval. We can just say on the open interval one comma two. So first criteria that f is continuous is satisfied. The second criteria that f is differentiable is also satisfied. Let's look at the last criteria. Last criteria that we need to satisfy is that f of the value of the function at the end point are same. So f of minus 1 equal to minus 1 whole thing square minus of minus 1 plus 2 that's equal to 1 plus 1 plus 2 which is equal to 4. So f of uh, minus 1 equal to 4. What about at the other end point? f of 2 equal to uh, 2 square minus 2 plus 2. f of 2 equal to 2 square minus 2 plus 2. 2 square is 4, 4 minus 2 plus 2, that's again equal to 4. Therefore, f of minus 1 equal to f of 2. So we can say that f of 2 equal to f of minus 1. So all the three criteria are satisfied. The function is continuous on the closed interval, the function is differentiable on the open interval, and the value of the function at the end point are same, f of 2 equal to f of minus 1. The end point are minus 1 and 2. So Rolle's theorem is applicable. So by Rolle's theorem, by Rolle's theorem, there exists a constant c such that f test c equal to 0. Now we got fx equal to x square minus x plus 2. So what can we say about f des x? f des x, we just need to differentiate fx. So d dx of x square minus x plus 2. Derivative of x square is 2x derivative of minus x is minus 1. So f des c equal to 2c minus 1. So we want to determine a constant c such that f des c equal to 0. Not only that, that constant c must lie on the open interval 1 comma 2. So by Rolle's theorem, there exists a constant c such that f des c equal to 0 comma c belongs to the open interval minus 1 comma 2. Now we got f des c equal to 2c minus 1. f des c equal to 0 if 2c minus 1 equal to 0. That is c equal to half. Does half say lie on the interval minus 1 comma 2? Yes. Therefore, for c equal to half comma c belongs to the interval minus 1 comma 2, c half is greater than minus 1 less than 2 and 
f days of c equal to 0. So we have determined a constant c such that f day c equal to 0 and that c lie on the interval minus 1 comma 2. That c turns out to be half. And we have verified Rolle's theorem for the function fx equal to x square minus x plus 2 on the interval minus 1 comma 2.